Hey, what's up, everybody? Gold and silver could run off. That's right. What do I mean by that? Gold and silver could be going up and going up in a pretty big way tomorrow. Today I'm recording this video. Today is January 5th and where there's a special little runoff in the peach state. And depending on how that goes, I think the markets could be moving in a pretty big way. I think the markets could move in a big way no matter what happens. It all depends on which way will the markets choose to go. And I think that's going to be the big factor is going to be what happens today in the peach state. Now, I'm going to give you a couple guesses. I'm going to give you a couple predictions. And of course, you know, I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to give you my prediction as to what could happen tomorrow, January the 6th. So in this peach state, if the peach state turns into the turd state, and what do I mean by that? Well, if the peach state goes blue tomorrow, if they go all blue, I think gold and silver are going to go up a lot. I'm going to be very bullish. I'll be very bullish on especially this yellow metal if the peach state turns blue. Why? Because I think gold, especially gold and silver, is going to be expecting a lot of spending going forward over the next two years. You could be seeing a major, a major amount of spending. If you thought there was a lot of spending in 2020, you ain't seen nothing yet if the peach state turns blue. Now, not only that, but there could also be a few more states added. Think about it. There could be another state, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. Some of these territories might turn into a state and that could be very ugly for the markets. Now, for me, it'd be ugly because I want to accumulate more, so I don't want to see the price of gold and silver go up. I never want to see the price of gold and silver go up because I want to accumulate. But I think if, if the peach state, if the peach state turns into the turd state, I think gold and silver are going to go up a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about what is going to happen with Georgia today. The Georgia peach, hopefully the Georgia peach stays the peach and does not turn into the Georgia turd. That's right. Um, I think the markets, I, th I think the markets could get ugly. Now, here is my prediction. Now, this is nothing serious. I could be completely wrong. This is just my prediction and my opinion only. Everybody should be forming their own opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But now, if gold and silver do run up to all-time highs, let's say gold goes up to 22, 23, hundred dollars an ounce silver goes up to above thirty dollars an ounce which is not the all-time high the all-time high is right around 50 but let's say that does happen let's say silver does go up to 50 i think for me anyway it is more of a reason to step on the brakes and to not spend because i don't think the prices are gonna stay up there long term we're talking short term but they could be going up there for the next couple of years. I think if the Georgia, if Georgia turns, if the peach state turns blue, all blue, I think gold and silver are going to be very high priced for at least the next two years until we have another, another election. So that is my thinking behind this. I think now, if if Georgia does not turn, if the peach state does not turn blue, then I think we could see metals pull back 
a little bit. Not Probably not a lot, but I think we could see the metals pulled back on the 6th because the stock market and the metals market likes it when we have mixed government, split government. Because in that, for that reason, if it's a split government, then there's not going to be a lot of agreeing. There's, you know, one side isn't going to get their way and to be able to pass legislation um, left and right. And that's exactly what's going to probably happen if Georgia were to turn blue then legislation is going to be very easy to pass. They're going to be able to get pretty much everything that they want. And that will be very ugly for the markets. I think it'll be ugly. The stock market will probably go down a lot. Again, again, this is just a prediction. This, all of this may not play out the way that I am saying, but it could. And it will get very, very ugly. So... My prediction for silver is if Georgia does go blue tomorrow, or today, I'm sorry, if Georgia does go blue today, I think tomorrow we could see, is silver going to go up to $30 an ounce tomorrow? Probably not, but it could go up another dollar, and it could be the matter of weeks before silver does get up to that 30 before silver does cross over to that 30 dollar mark and I think gold could very very likely in the next couple of weeks cross over that $2,100 mark just my opinion now do I think they will stay there long term no but I think they could maintain those levels for probably the next couple of years um, will I stop buying gold I I'll probably buy a little bit more gold, but not as much as I would have if gold was between 18 and 1900. But we will see what happens. Let me know in the comments section below what you think is going to happen tomorrow. Do you think this runoff is going to have any? How much impact do you think this runoff is going to have on metal prices? I think this runoff is going to have a ton of impact on these metal prices once again if if georgia goes red tomorrow all red i don't think it's going to be mixed i think it's going to be one or the other it's going to either go both are going to go red or both are going to go blue and i think that will have a major impact on spot prices tomorrow january the 6th and uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below appreciate everybody for watching Please like, comment, subscribe. Definitely let me know your opinions. These are all opinions. Nobody knows what the prices of gold and silver are going to do. Just my opinion. Let me know your opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you on my next video.